Travel back in time with a trip inside the Iowa's News Now vault. In the mid-60s, Art Arfons was called the world's fastest man. He held the title three times for the world land speed record. Now Arfons competes in the world of souped-up tractors. At least they're called tractors. That's just about where the resemblance ends to the farm variety. These tractors are powered with engines of up to 3,000 horsepower. They pull 33 tons as far as they can. And especially in the modified class, the design is exotic. Arfon's machine is no exception. It's run by a 2,000 horsepower turbo jet. But Arfon says the engine isn't the only thing. The engine is secondary, really. Uh, the driver's got everything to do with it. And knowing how to weight your tractor and how much power to come out of the hole with. And uh, I've been beat by Chevy, you know, it's got half the power. For Arfons, the tractor pull offers another plus, the cheers of the crowd, some of the loudest in Iowa. At 53, Arfon says he's too old to set more speed records, but he has few regrets. Well, you can't compare nothing to land speed racing, you know, that's all on its own, but uh, this is the greatest thrill I've had. You know, I've been drag racing for 22 years, and I think this is a lot better than drag racing. How so? It takes more skill, and there's more driver involved. Uh, it's just a great sport. Alan Cox, Channel 2 News Watch, Cedar Rapids.